Hi there, my name is Kai Vierda and I'm a product manager for CA Release Automation. Welcome to this five part series of training videos for the Rapid Development Kit or RDK. The RDK is a complementary tool for CA Release Automation that enables non programmers to easily create action packs. And in this first part, we'll go over a quick introduction of the available training material and we'll cover the installation of the RDK on Windows and Linux. After completing this training, you will be able to install the Rapid Development Kit or RDK on Windows or Linux. You'll be able to describe the overall RDK workflow. You'll be able to create an action pack using either a command line interface, a script or a REST API. And you'll know how to export and deploy an action pack to CA Release Automation. Before installing the Rapid Development Kit or RDK on Windows, let's verify that the system requirements have been met. This Windows Server 2012 system has Oracle Java JDK 7 64-bit installed and it also has Apache Tomcat 7 64-bit installed. Now let's verify if the Java Home uh, system variable has been configured correctly. We go to the Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and here we can see that the Java Home system variable is pointing to my JDK7 installation folder. Now let's check if uh, Tomcat is working. And as you can see, Tomcat is uh, working fine on port 8081. And this also tells me that my uh, JDK was installed correctly, as uh, this is also used by Tomcat. RDK comes with two installers, the main RDK installer and the RDK third-party components installer. Start the main installer. This will launch the third-party components installer and once completed, the main installer will continue. Use the Browse button to select your Tomcat 7 installation folder. And note how the installer picks up the Tomcat HTTP port automatically. Hit Next and select which components to install. It is recommended to keep the option for Action Pack examples selected. In this dialog, we can see the location of the RDK working directory. This is the default location that uh, RDK will use to store all its project files. The execution directory defines the default location that RDK will use when executing commands or scripts. And lastly, the base package setting defines the Java namespace to use for the action pack code that is generated by RDK. It's recommended to change my company to match your organization's name. Hit next and finish. Make sure to restart the Tomcat server after installation. Before installing the Rapid Development Kit or RDK on Linux, let's verify that the system requirements have been met. This CentOS 6.5 system has Oracle JDK 7 64-bit as well as Apache Tomcat 7 64-bit installed. Let's check if the Java Home system variable is configured correctly. Do this using ego java home and as you can see it points to where i installed jdk now let's launch the browser and see whether tomcat is running as you can see it's running fine on port 8081 and this also tells me the jdk is configured fine as tomcat uses this as well the RDK comes with two installers, the main RDK installer and the RDK third-party components installer. Let's start by launching the main RDK installer. And please note that on Linux you have to use the graphical installer. There is no console installer available. Hit next. Here we're prompted to point to the installation folder of the JDK. Hit next. And the 
third-party component installer is launched. Once completed, the main installer will continue. Use the Browse button to select your Tomcat 7 installation folder. And note how the installer picks up the Tomcat HTTP port automatically. Now select which components to install. It is recommended to keep the option for Action Pack examples selected. In this dialog, we can see the location of the RDK working directory. All RDK project files will be kept in this location. The execution directory defines the default location that RDK will use when executing commands or scripts. And lastly, the base package setting defines the Java namespace to use for the action pack code that is generated. It is recommended to change my company to the name of your organization. Make sure to restart the Tomcat server once the installation completes. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out part 2 of this series where we cover the overall RDK workflow.